So to customize your Firefox new tab, there are some add-ons and some of these add-ons are like tabless and night tab. These are really good add-ons. They let you customize pretty well. With these add-ons, you can't import your own HTML file, but they are really good add-ons. There are some videos on these already. Uh, I'll link them in the description. I'm going to talk about how to restore the option of having your own HTML file to be your new tab. Uh, an add-on that does this pretty well is new tab override. There are a few things that kind of me here obviously like when i click the new tab it does this like weird glitch thing which you know i can get over with you would have to store your local file in the add-on here you can't link any local images or obviously any local files uh to overcome this you can use a local web server and in linux you can use it with python most distros already have python installed and you would have to install pip as well we would like to install little http server i already have it installed as you can see and with this you like to do Python dash M for module and then little HTTP server all lowercase dash V dash D and then directory you want it to be. You like to be on the directory, not the actual file. And right here, you just click enter and the port is 8000. Type in localhost colon 8000 and give you a list right here. You just click on that and right here is the URL you want to copy. And right here in new tab override, you like to click custom URL. And right here on focus, you can obviously change set focus to the web page instead. So right here, I set focus to the web page, which sets focus to the search bar, and I can search something. This actually works, but uh, this is not the correct file. I should have used a different file. But you know, as your little thing. Now there's a little thing I don't like. So right here, it sets the address bar, and if you do this, it does focus on the address bar but it doesn't highlight everything so you gotta do control a and then type whatever this is okay but obviously it's kind of inconvenient if this was normal you would have link the style sheet but right here instead you would have to put the style tag then for the image you can't have a local image you would have to have a source and then to the image on a website the method i'm using to have a custom new tab in firefox is by restoring the actual function or the actual option of having a local file as a new tab this used to be a thing in firefox but they removed it due to security concerns so do this on your own risk i guess i i don't know so i have a github repository to do this i have some instructions here i don't know if they're the best instructions but i'm gonna show you anyways these are not my scripts to restore the option and it's Firefox scripts. I don't know how to say the name, sorry. But um, it is other things you can also restore or you can add to Firefox. But right now I'm just gonna use this one, the restore browser new tab. And this was by the real PSV. And you can download it here, but I have it, I have it also in my Git repository. This is just gonna only set the custom new tab and having the HTML file here. And the HTML file I've been using is actually by another person. This dude, obviously you can see it's different. My links are a bit different. And also I have JavaScript on the search bar. Uh, the JavaScript is just looking at the links I have here. And just if I type anything that's like three letters that are in this list. So if I search up this one, F I R, and it sends me to cool math games. But uh, his is pretty simple, it's just CSS and HTML, and the search bar actually works. Mine does too. I'm gonna like search up apples, and it sends me to the apples. But that's where I got those from. I'm gonna show you how to restore it now. Alright, so first off, you're gonna want to download the Git repository, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it through the GUI, just in case people don't like the command line. So to do this, you want to go to code, and you want to download the zip file, and it's gonna download the zip file. So once you download this file, you want to put it anywhere in your file manager. Uh, I just have it here called YT Firefox, just for example. And right here, you want to extract it. You can use for Windows, you can use like WinWar, but I recommend 7-zip. On Linux, you can also use 7-zip. So once you unzip it, it will, should give you this file or this folder, I mean. All right, so once you have all these, you want to go to your Fire Firefox scripts. And then in this folder, you're going to want to put these in their proper places. All right, so in my Git repository, it shows you where to put them. So you want to put the config.js, which is in Firefox scripts defaults and prep. You want to put this on your user lib Firefox. And you want to put your config.js in here. I already have it here, so it's right there. You know, you just want to move it there and then you're good. 
want to move the config pref.js into the user lib Firefox browser default preferences. It's pretty long. So you want to move config pref.js into user lib Firefox browser defaults preferences and in here right there I have it right here on Windows you just want to move this and this the config press JS and defaults folder just the folder into program files in Mozilla Firefox which is usually where it's normally installed and then on Mac OS the config prefs is in your firefox.app context resources defaults pref config.prefs.js that's where you put that I don't use macOS, so I don't know how that works, but also your config.js goes in here. So after you move the folders, you would want to go to about colon support on your URL bar. And right here, it will give you a list of a lot of stuff, but all you need to do is look for profile directory or profile folder. I think it also could be called. I just want to click on this. This should send you to another folder. You just want to make a folder called Chrome, all lowercase, and you want to grab the utils and the new tab Firefox about config, and you just want to move these both in the Chrome folder you just made. Just It will just be utils and this script. And now once you have them there, you want to go back to this URL. You want to click clear startup cache. This will restart your Firefox session, so just to warn you. And now that you restart Firefox, you can go to about colon config and right here you just search up browser.newtab.url this is this doesn't exist until you add that user script and the utils folder and you restart firefox click on the pencil and you can put any local file you want you just click on the check mark you might need to restart firefox i don't remember but i don't think so so you just click on this and it lets you choose any local file on the zip file you just opened there's also a new tab folder and in here I have all the necessary files to have my new tab to like if you want it to look like this. Uh, you can also make it look like where I originally got it from where it has like this one piece and there's no JavaScript it's just HTML and CSS pretty cool. And to do that and there should be a folder called start page and you can use just use these files instead of instead of my files. But all you really do is you click on this go to your about config. And right here you can just paste the full path but before you do that make sure you have the file colon slash slash two slashes before your full path or else it won't work so like if you click on a new tab it highlights the url bar and it's all blank and now you can just type without like you know selecting it all and deleting it if you want to do other customization options to your firefox you can look into firefox css and that's actually changing like the ui of firefox which is pretty cool